Okay, and welcome everybody here in, in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. For our next deck, last deck of the night here, uh, Naya Legends, you know, probably my favorite deck to play. Um, so, uh, the you know, deck I've played quite a bit. Um, it's a deck kind of built around our legendary sorceries, Kamal's Druidic Vow and Urza's Ruinous Blast. The I've only made one very, very slight change uh, for today. Um, I decided to take out the fourth Urza's Ruinous Blast. I kind of felt like that may be a little too many uh, in the sideboard and put in an extra Lyra for the aggro decks. I really want to make sure we beat aggro decks um, uh, with the, uh, with this here. So that's the one little change. We had we had two Urza's Ruinous Blasts in the main and two more in the board. I took out the fourth one in the board just for this league. We'll, we'll kind of see if we need it. Um, no, Direfleet Daredevil wouldn't really fit in the list. We want, um, it's not a legendary uh, creature, so it would just kind of get swept up by Urza's Ruinous Blast. So I, don't, I only really want legendaries besides, of course, Land Werewolf, just because Land Werewolf is just so good. Um, yeah, and uh, Mox Amber is not really quite good enough for the list, honestly. Um, yeah, Mox Amber is just not really that good of a card. The new angel that can gain vigilance for Path of Metal. What's that new angel that can gain vigilance? I'm not I don't I don't know what that card that you're referring to is. Alright, let's do this. Oh, Seraph? Like Seraph of the Scales? Yeah, so you'd have to be playing Mardu. Um, but if you're if you're willing to go into three colors and willing to play Mardu, then yeah, I could certainly see Seraph of the Scales being a, a good card because I mean that's just a, that's just a great card. So yeah, Templar, getting the resub for the fourth month. Thank you so much, Templar. Welcome back. Uh, hands a little sketch. Not gonna lie, hands a little sketch. But we're on the draw, so kind of hoping that we draw um, an untapped source here. No, not for this deck. It's, it's talking about Sarah for the um, Path of Metal deck. That was a, a question about a different deck. Mm. Play the wrong land. Should have played the Clifftop Retreat, obviously. Obviously, we're drawing Stomping Ground. Alright, immediately got the Soul Tide test. Um, Shauna is pretty good in this matchup if Shauna can um, if Shauna can survive. With the reason being that um, Shauna can't be the targeted of can't be the target of um, hostage taker or chupacabra or anything like that. Wild animals, I like balance comes.
Vivian's pretty good. Kind of have to just be attacking Vivian, unfortunately. Ah! Most wounds can heal. All right, Matthew, have a good night. Thanks for uh, being in and everything. No one knows the wilds like I do. Thanks for being here in chat. Can't stop nature. Don't really like where we're at, just kind of in general. I'm I'm taking the land because um yeah, I think we're going to need to be able to cast a lot of spells. I've uh, seen things that if would we're going to be able to, to win like this. You. But we're not out of it quite yet. Almost are. Now it's looking like we're out of it. Need ours as Ruinous the Blast. Wilds are my shield. I will fight with some solutions must be built. I miscounted there. I thought I was going to be able to play the land werewolf also, but the stomp, you know, the stomping ground is a shock land. I definitely did not want to shock. <laughs> yeah, I just shouldn't have played the Karn. Get that out of here. Should have just played the land werewolf. I was already kind of playing the Karn, though. All right, so anyway, let's get the, um, where's my, oh, I already put the Urza's Ruinous Blast in there. Okay. I was like, where's it at? Okay. I already put it in there. So we got 50 seconds. Yeah, I think, I think Marto's, uh, there we go. Remove the band there. I think Marto's keyboard just got stuck. Sorry, Marto, for the ban there. Um, all right, so Squeeze coming on out, and Rada, and I have the Blast in there. What was the other card that I added in from my sideboard? Oh, Night of Autumn. I don't want. I don't actually want Night of Autumn. Um, let's get another Coil. Weatherlight, unfortunately, is really bad against. Um, Uh, hey, no, it's okay. Sometimes, well, you know, like Weatherlight's not good against Vivian. Um, but a lot of our flyers aren't very good against Vivian either. Um, hmm. 
I just gotta ditch that. We just need white mana. Yeah, cat walking on the keyboard. You can do that. Come on, deck. Don't do this to us. No, deck. I just want to play magic. Uh. This is so sad. I know our opponent hasn't done very much, but we're just giving them like the opportunity to be able to play. You know, lots of lands, you know, get their land drops set up and everything like that. Would you meet my newest friend? Blah. I was very done with that game. So we, we play any... Let me... It's just... You know, super laggy here. Let me reset. So, you know, we play any flyer. Vivian kills the flyer. We play another flyer. Oh, no. Yeah, I'd already conceded before I drew that land. It's like, so, like, we play a flyer. They play Thief of Sanity. We play another flyer. Yeah, you know, like, they, they kill our flyer with, with Vivian. Uh, both of those, then they hit us with Thief of Sanity. Yeah. That, was, that was sad. Drew Revenge Revival to force the kill. Nice. Play first. Alright, we at least have white mana this time. Pretty happy about that. Alright, soul tie yet again. Um, but we're in a better spot than what we were last time. Play Rada. Considering playing Weatherlight and then we could have Rada crew Weatherlight next turn. But I think I want to play Dru Druidic Vow next turn. can vow for four. We could just play Vivian. We'll just play Vivian. Wild animals, I've seen things that would break someone like you. Oh hey Death Coach. <laughs> yeah, we're we're playing a Nia Legends deck. Um We, the third game was, or that second game was really disappointing. Yeah, like we we need white mana and just never got, never drew white mana at all. It was very sad. So our deck's built around Kamal's Druidic Vow and Urza's Ruinous Blast. With Urza's Ruinous Blast being the card that we want the most in this matchup. Which of course we didn't no have that. No one knows the, the wilds like I do. The first game. Um...
Let's take this land war elf. Yeah, I'll take one of these. Yeah, we do have Squee. That's a good point. The se Squeeze the Seeker attack. Meet my newest friend. All right, let's let's play a really big druidic vow. Um, gonna go ahead and attack in with those other creatures, so we can just get more mana in the mana pool. All right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll get Lannery Storm. This, 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 and this. Um. I think we only have three lands, so we'll just do Enter's Tab. Alright, so we need this extra Ruinous Blast. Yeah, dude, that Druidic Vow is insane, isn't it? Oh, cool, Miramage. You, Miramage, you played this at your local FNM? Nice. Alright, so yeah, we got that extra... Uh, blast in here and let's get these extra coils as well uh, squee rada and weather light coming on out that looks good Okay, let's get the Esper Thran deck going on YouTube. I mean, it's already uploading, but I need to do some of the typing here. So, wait from the chat for just a second. Yeah, playing really large uh, Druidic Vows like that, just never going to get old. The card's a, such a fun card to play. We get a land here. Yeah, we really need some more lands. Come on, land. All right. Our Perfect. We need more lands. That's what Karn does, it gets you lands. Oh man, can we draw one of our Urza's Ruinous Blast? We still haven't, we haven't seen an Urza's Ruinous Blast this whole time. This would just be the perfect time for Urza's Ruinous Blast. Come on, Blast. Blast, 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 return. Blast.
That Vincent speed removal? No. Um. Alright, well now if they hostage take the Tristani... I'm not gonna be able to actually cast her as a Runus Blast. So I think this game is just a, a loss. Mixing a block block, yeah, and still take three. Yeah. You're ready for the explore package to go away? Yeah. I think I am too. Definitely Clarion would have been amazing that game. But we're on the play here now. Maybe on the draw I should be bringing in Deafening Clarion in that matchup. It's the thing. I I really wish they would have changed the, the rotation. It's like they so rotation, you know, happens once a year. They changed it so it was going to happen twice a year, but then people got concerned about, like, their cards rotating too fast kind of thing. And so they went back to, to once a year. And so it's just always like this with, like, the, the fall set. By the time the fall set's now been legal for so long, you just get tired of it. Because, like, with the, with the twice a year rotation, we had, we would have had rotation here with the release of... Um, I guess it would have been this one. No, War of the Spark. Yeah, so when, when War of the Spark releases, then the Explore package would have rotated out. Like, they rotate the, the sets two at a time instead of four at a time. I don't think they're going back to that scenario. But, yeah, because, I mean... Before this, you know, everybody was tired of, of energy and, you know, couldn't wait for, like, Teamer Energy to, to rotate out. And then before that, it was the, um, all the, uh, like, Collected Company decks. Couldn't wait for those to rotate out kind of thing. And it's just, it's kind of always something. Like, you just kind of have these decks, I guess it was, like, Rally. You just have, like, the these decks kind of in standard for... A little too long. So I know I, I could have cast a blast and just exiled the thief by itself, but I thought that was just a little weak of just a blast for that one card. Um... Maybe I should have, though. Um, I can still do that. I can Vow for four. I could just play Karn and start gaining advantage with Karn. And just let them hit me with Thiefa Sanity some more. If I Tajik... If I go Tajik, Land War Elf. Let's do that. Kind of taking a lot of damage. I'm playing the Land of War Elf 2 because then I, I'm planning on vowing the next turn and not blasting. I do not want to have my opponent find another Lyra. There's two Lyras in, the, in my deck right now, currently. We already had one get Contempted. Um, so I really do not want my opponent to draw a Lyra. That would be... That'd be the card I do not want them to find. So they try to lava coil my Captain Lannery Storm, but Tajik prevents that. So not the best of turns.
So unfortunately, even though they, they do get to kill... Uh, unfortunately for them, even though they, they do get to kill the uh, Lanor Elf, this is just lethal. Because Lanor is from Tactic 6. Tajik Tactic 3, and boom. So even if they don't necessarily shame concede, the, the game also just ends. All right, one and one. All right, making this thumbnail for Esper Thran. Temple Gardens are a really good draw. Let's just go turn one land or off. Very nice. Uh, control. Yuck. Well, if they tap out to kill Amara... Then we would be able to resolve Karn. Ugh, they did not tap out to kill Amara. I guess they don't have Absorb. I just kind of thought that they had Absorb. But that resolved really quickly. Oh, they couldn't cast Absorb because of the Swamp. Right. They couldn't even cast Absorb even if they had it. I should have been probably playing this card a little, little more than what I was. What archetype would you consider the old energy deck? It was a mid-range deck. Um, but I guess it went through different iterations, like, you know, while, like, stuff was getting banned and things like that. But for the most part, it was a, a mid-range deck. I'm known for my excellent timing. Hurry! We'll just get Teferi out of there. That didn't go according to plan. Yeah, mid-range decks are, uh, it's okay. Mid-range decks are kind of expensive. Yeah, that's true. All 
All right, so this is this is honestly like just pretty good for us because uh, assuming they block, yeah, definitely very glad. So we get to not only resolve Karn um, here, but then we also get to kill the the Chromium because they can't, you know, they just can't even discard a card to keep Chromium alive because they discard a card. <laughs> They discard a card, it turns into a 1-1, one, one, and so it dies. Alright, now let's get Karn in play. And start ticking up. Yeah, Chromium... Evil must not be a curious choice. I see it underperform a whole lot. Definitely see it underperform all the time. I should have played the Karn first and ticked up, and then I could have maybe been able to play a Llanowar off as well, you know, like, I could maybe been able to do that. Down. This Squee could end this game, honestly. Somebody bothering you? I'll make them suffer. Honestly, this Squee may be able to end the game. I hate it when the dead won't stay dead. Uh, we couldn't draw the Urza's Ruinous Blast against Sultai earlier, but now we're drawing them against Esper, where they're just dead cards. Draw on the second one, pretty rough. Is their only like permanents are all legendary? You know, they're Planeswalkers or Chromium or Sir Christina. Ooh. Got to protect that Kaya. Yeah, Squee just gains us, a, gives us a land, and comes on back. The Squee is crushing it. We I'm not is dead yet. It. Try harder. Do I cast Val for eight? We haven't seen them have a, a counter spell yet, have we? So it's kind of likely that our opponent has a counter spell in hand. Oh well. I don't think it really improves and just their chance of drawing counter spells just only go up. No, they have a negate. Ah, oh, they killed my squee. Now they get to exile it with Kaya. Funny, that's what I do. Gain some more life. Man, stop. Stop drawing what you need. I'm sorry, was that dear to you? All right, so we have we have a whole lot more planeswalkers um, that you know are kind of like the cards that we want to be drawing. We have like our three Vivian, our Hawatli, our other. Um, gosh, even that thing's legendary. Man, these these two Ursus Ruinous Blast. We only have two in the deck, and they're just dead cards. Um, Druidic Vow, though, I guess would be our best draw. You know, if we draw our other Druidic Vow. Pack your bags and hit the road. <laughs> oh, but you can't hit me again. Lyra, not a good card to draw. 
because they just get to profane procession to exile it and they get that back later. Pack your bags and hit the road. That was a very bad card to draw. But did they just minus one? Oh, they had to plus one, right? All right, Karn works. Lucky hit. You may regret that choice. All right, good job, Karn. Way to get rid of a couple more cards that don't matter at all. Yeah, it looked it looked kind of like a minus one on my side, but yeah, it was just a, it was just a plus one no now exile. It's dearly departed. Well chosen. <clears throat> Going through all these lands. Try that again. I dare you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Alright, so we've gone through fourteen lands. You're not welcome here anymore. Which which is about right. You know, like that's not like really for going through half the deck, fourteen lands is you know, not like that that off or anything. That's certainly a reasonable amount when we have we have twenty six in the deck. Hey, punk boy, punk boy R D. Thanks for re seven there with Twitch Prime. Welcome back. I do appreciate that. Suffering gets it. Eh? Hmm, they just gave me Vivian. Yeah, that looks like a negate to me, right? So number 14. In Esper Control, do you think a one of copy of Karn or Dovin would be the most useful? Um, I think that Dovin would be a better, uh, or Karn, Tezzeret, or Dovin. Oh, I guess. I w okay, so I would not play one copy of Karn. I don't. I do not like playing one copy of Karn. Um, I think you want at least two copies because if you play Karn, you tick up. They contempt your Karn, and if like you exile something that's pretty important, um, you can't uh, necessarily get it. You can't get it back ever. Um, you know, you can't like have another Karn that goes and, and gets it back. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. I can go get like Tajik. Return. One, one mana short from playing everything. How do I stop on like my... I won't like this trick. Uh, I don't know. I'll just do like the full control thing. 
All right, so go to combat. Target that thing. Let that resolve. Now crew this thing. Unfortunately, I cannot play Vivian and Squee. If they flip Procession, do I still get to cast my Squee? I don't think I do. I guess it's still an Exile. Like, that should flip the Procession, right? So I'm, I'm glad the procession procession is flipped though with like the two creatures there and you know not not anymore good riddance to bad rubbish who didn't even play Lyra oh wait they can just play Lyra at instant speed can't they Right. I do have Tristani, yes. Yeah, there's there's two Tristanis in here somewhere. The choices we make reveal who we are. No, I don't have any field of runes. I'm a little worried about just like milling out. Kinda wanna start minus wanting this Karn. Start taking some of my cards back. They can gain five life if they want to instant speed this Lyra here. Does give me the ability to kill the Lyra though with Vivian. We'll see if they have two counter spells. Yeah, you know, we we know the first one's getting countered because they gave us a Vivian before. We we know the one's getting countered, but hoping they don't have another counter for the the next one. Wow, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Our third Vivian is is near the bottom of the library. It's one of the bottom four cards because we saw it with Weatherlight. Unfortunately, our Weatherlight put like a bunch of good cards. You know, we have like four like good spells down at the bottom. My retribution will be swift. There are twenty nine. I'm gonna kill them before I mill out. Lyra is just a huge problem for me to deal with. I only have like the Vivians to to deal with it. Your bags. Not back when you hit the road. Not dead yet. These stupid Urza's ruinous blast. I wish they were any sideboard card. Decisive action is needed.
I'm not really playing around settle. They've already had one settle. I don't know if they're just playing like a whole lot of settles. It's not very likely. Like they have two cards in hand. Not really playing around like one of their two cards being a settle. I, I can't really just sit back anyway with uh, this Lyra. Oh yeah, Tristani's an option for Tristani getting them back. I'm gone for now. Yeah, but Tristani's not a great forever. option. All right, if they want to just. Kaya's Wrath, everything away. Oh well. Life goes on. We'll use, they Kaya's Wrath, everything away. We'll just use Karn to get back to Zeek, to Zeek to activate Weatherlight, Weatherlight to hit him. And then, yeah, we, we'll still have Squee, they'll come back. Boom. All right. Good job, deck. So let's get these Carney Tees in. Knight of Autumns, Spyglass. Um, Rudus Blast, of course, is the first thing out. Also taking out the Coil. Uh, taking out Lyra's. Definitely do not want something like that last game to happen with Lyra. And what do I want my last two cards to come on out to be? Hmm. I think Shauna. Yeah, Shauna's usually only that good if you have like a whole lot of other creatures in play. And if you have a whole lot of other creatures in play, it, you, know, you don't really want a whole lot of other creatures in play against like sweepers and stuff like that. Our opponent probably just had a bunch of lands in hand and, you know, I had a, a whole lot of really big creatures and I was going to be able to untap and activate Shalai multiple times. Um, and they probably just didn't want to, or, you know, like I was maybe even attacking for lethal or close to it and, you yeah. know. That was a good game. Come on, get us red mana. If we get turn two Lannery Storm, oh baby, that's turn two Lannery Storm. Love it. Love me some turn two Lannery Storm. No, I want my Lannery Storm. Ooh. They let me have turn two Lannery Storm. Let me have it. I mean, they they could certainly have um, Cry of the Carnarium here, but you know, whatever. We got a treasure. 
I'm not just like not playing Landry Storm because they could have um, Cry of the Carnarium. There goes Watley. So I can Druidic Vow for four right now that we know resolves and we know get un gets under a counter spell. Eh. Drew shall I. We'll just play that. Of course, Kaya's Wrath would be really bad for me. For obvious reasons. We would kind of have nothing. Basic Island. I'm kind of all in with these creatures. Mind. We'll we'll test them on seeing if they have a negate. We get to Val for five, which is the number we want to Val for. Ugh. Because of our planeswalkers and everything that are five. Well, at least we cleared four lands off the top of our library, at least. It's not a good not a good Val, but at least we, you know, it was a draw five, basically. Yeah, we're not drawing all those lands. Two basic islands in their Kai's Wrath deck. Contempt. That was still a pretty good Druidic Vow. We got to put, you know, four lands into play and an Amara that's made other creatures and everything too. Oh, <laughs> they have cast down. Oh, no, they do have Contempt. Alright, so now they're tapped out. Karn's gonna resolve. Let's go ahead and play Karn. I will fight. Good choice. Well, they have two islands and a swamp. That's a, quite a bit of basics for Esper. Oh, they have Thaumatic Compass? That's different. We have we have Aurelia over there. Uh oh, really? Uh. How convenient. An excellent Can I have that choice. Vivian? Dang. The opponent gave me the forest. I was thinking they may give us that Aurelia. Sure. We had a bunch of 1 1s. Now we get a bunch of lands. I should have done that before ticking up Karn. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have gotten that uh, forest from the tick up. We would have gone and just put the forest into play. So, how many lands are we looking at here? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, so there's 11 lands left in the 34. 
Yeah, should have plenty of gas left. Ops chilling over there with only two cards. Do you have the ability to get Vivian with Karn here? Or I can get Aurelia. Your patience is rewarded. Let's get the Vivian. We certainly could have a counter spell, but dang. Basically, just going to always have that counter spell. All right, so there's only one other Land War Elf in the deck now. So there's only one Land War Elf and 11 lands. So those those 12 are bad draws. Um, our other 21 cards, good draws. That's a good one. That'll count towards the good draw pile. I can minus and get Aurelia. Eh. You may regret that choice. Ooh, yeah, what you choose an opponent, you may regret that choice. Just saying, you may regret that choice. I think I can get through a profane procession just fine. Not too worried about fighting through a profane procession. You know, five man five mana to exile a creature takes up like all their mana. I am I'm getting rid of the Escant to the Sunken Ruin. I do not want them to continually activate that thing. Have, we have a bunch of Knight of Autumns in the deck right now. Whew, and Vivians. Oh, man. This is going to be nice. Um, all right, we could hit another Karn. I'm just going to minus the Karn right now. The time has come. But let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm doing that first in case we hit the other Karn. Uh, so these two, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're going to mill ourselves out. All right, we got land, Tristani, land, 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 weatherlight, land... Lannery Storm, Squee, Land, Rada, Stomping Ground, Tajik. All right. I think that's pretty good. Kamal's Druidic Vow. But a you have a Profane Procession. You can exile one creature each turn. <laughs> Just add some more water, and then you have it. Insta board. Man. That card is sweet. Ugh. <laughs> Kamal's Druidic Vow, what a card. 
What a card. Yeah, scooped to Squee. Dude, Squee was like our MVP that match. It was so good at game one. I'll take this turn to Tajik. Yes, please. And that land to get towards Vivian. Yes, please. Alright, I guess I'm not turn two to Viking. So I'm getting rid of that thing. And that's why I play one Lava Coil. Just for scenarios like that. You know, sometimes you just need that one Lava Coil. You don't always want a Lava Coil, you know? But sometimes that first one is pretty good. Alright, playing Amara first so Tajik can... Um, put a counter on the Amara. But actually, maybe I should just play Vivian here. Balance comes. No, my Urza's Ruinous Blast. I need that card. My Ruinous Blast. Hmm. Come to me. Yeah, that Lava Coil was very good for us. Alright, that's game. I think our opponent may have had Cast Down. For how they had that. Alright, let's Blast and Coils. And Squizzle, Weatherlight, and Rada. Maybe on the draw I'm supposed to bring in these Clarions too. That was another move they were kind of discussing maybe doing. Tristani is... I guess Tristani is really good against Hostage Taker. Yeah, I'll cut Huatli on the draw. Actually. Then am I cutting a Shauna that just will die to these Clarions also? Yeah, honestly, these, these Clarions are actually probably pretty good. The more I think about it. We'll play two. Any particular card you'd like to see reprinted into Modern in Horizons? Not really, honestly. Modern's just not a format that I'm really concerned myself with anymore. Um, but even before, um, there's not not really anything in particular that I was like really wanting to get. <laughs> yeah, it does it does cost like all your wild cards. For sure. This is a This is a wild card rich deck for sure. But it is it is a lot of fun. And like your games are different. Uh you know you don't have like four four X of like all these cards. You know, you're not playing like the same game over and over again. Can't even target my opponent's Jade Light Ranger to give it the the buff. Get some lands, Karn. I have faced worse than the likes of you. 
you need lands, just play a Karn. Karn is plus one, draw a land. That's what it just always is. Plus one. Karn is plus one, put put a land from your hand or I do not feel pain. Put a land into your hand. So you tick up. Well put a land into your hand. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. No, I haven't played the Cascade format Sometimes at all. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Did they just surveil and keep both cards on top? I think that's what happened. The beasts are much more reliable than humans. I think that's what happened. Choops. You can't stop nature. Hmm. So I'm gonna lava coil, lava coil the jade light, and then I have three extra mana to cast Lannery Storm and attack Vivian. Honestly, it may just be better just to get the land for future turns. This will aid us. Try to get towards double spelling. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. The wilds are my shield. Yeah, that was a that was a rule that was changed a couple years ago. Um, that now both players can have the same uh, legendary permanent uh, on the battlefield. Um, yeah, if you have a Vivian over here. Are you certain of your decision? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Well, getting punished for taking the land last turn. I guess I'm playing Lyra. You know, like, they're certainly going to just kill her with Vivian. Um... But just playing the five mana no spell means that next painless. turn I can play Shalai and Lyra. Wow, I'm surprised they're killing Karn there and not Vivian, honestly. Oh, because... I guess because my Karn has another Vivian behind it. Yeah, he used to be able to... Oh, baby. What, what are you up to? Oh, not much. Just blasting. All right, let's see if we get a haste creature. Meet my new. All right, no haste friend. creature. We'll take the Shauna. See ya. Oh, my treasure. Could have used that treasure. First. I think we're okay though. I think the exile four you things is probably okay. You can't stop nature. Yeah, I didn't play my Shalai this turn. I, I meant to play Shalai. As well, and not Shauna, but. No one knows the wilds like I do. Mm. We'll take Tristani. That card's good against Thief of Sanity. Balance comes. Well, they did not. They not just 
sit back and kill the Shalai and attack with Eva Sanity. I guess because, probably because of Tristani. Hmm. Does get rid of my two tokens. Come to me. Oh well. Sorry, tokens. Urza's Ruinous Blast is nice. Still Every nice. Defeat is a new beginning. It was nice a little bit ago. It's still nice. But I guess I could have just gained some life by playing that first. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Easy victory. Yeah, you want this list? Um, exclamation point deck list. You can find it there. All right, three and one. So we saw the power of Urza's Ruinous Blast. Our opponent even had, you know, like Midnight Reaper thinking they were safe and threw a Wrath, wrath Effect. Midnight Reaper and three other creatures, all exile. Seven, seven Crasis and a Thief of Sanity, exile. We're only legendary over here. Um, I think we're playing the same opponent. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like our last opponent was like airy. I don't know. I could be wrong, obviously. Like basic island, that's that's not the same deck. At least doesn't seem like it. I'll not show my opponent red mana yet. Hmm. Got counter magic? That doesn't look, look like a counter spell. Yeah, you can have like a... a like, you can have, like, Jace, the Mind Sculptor, and Jace, Architect of Thought, both in play now. Which is not always the case. I think my opponent just has Frilled Mystic. I guess they could have Chemister's Insight, though, also. Your part in this story is almost over. Go and feast on their flesh. Okay, that's probably not a Frilled Mystic. Chemistry's in sight. Do they have a fog? No fog. Sing the song of fame. Really want to play Vivian and destroy the Wilderness Reclamation. But I can probably just do that next turn. Like next turn they'll have to have a fog. Um No, I think the nice was like just saying, you know, like just playing a Hwatli. I don't think our opponent was really expecting a Hwatli. Hwatli. Um
Yeah, the I was a little worried about Vivian getting countered. I kind of felt that like it would be Vivian would have a better chance of resolving if I waited a turn. Um, but maybe that's a, a mistake. Uh, Lyra does help me survive if they play a Hydroid Crasis plus a bunch of like neck plus a couple Nexuses. Um, so like it's it's harder for them. It's harder for like a, a Hydroid Crasis to kill us. But yeah, I could see just jamming the Vivian being the thing that I should have done there. They found all of their chemistry's insights, which is unfortunate for us. This chemistry insight just works so well with reclamation. Perception, their end step? I mean, I guess they're going to cast another Nexus. It's still, like, that's... They're going to have to go to discard. I guess they're, like, just searching for a Nexus, maybe? I feel like it would have been better to... If they had the Nexus in hand, it would have been better just to wait in Perception main phase and get that Scry 3 on. So that is every single one of their insights. Found all four. No, Nexus is still legal in best of three. All right, so yeah, so playing Vivian was the was what I should have done. Hey, skinny. Thanks. That is pretty crazy that this is their turn five. Um, that they they just like their hand was incredible, just winning the game on turn five. That's not that's not something that happens very often. Um, you know, like they like this this is all of this stuff is their turn five. Yeah, that's three extra. T that's enough. To That's going to kill me. Yeah, pretty in incredible uh, hand for sure there. Spyglasses won't even, like, they didn't even have, like, Ascanta. Anything for, like, Spyglass to really do there. Hmm. Blast does get rid of Wilderness Reclamation. Take out this coil. Hmm. Maybe we don't need these blasts. So this is 60 right here. Um, let's try that. Yeah, I, ha I have played Jaya's Immolating Inferno in the deck before, but it was just kind of too expensive, um, wasn't very reliable, and just needed more, more creatures, you know, more things that, like basically like more creatures and stuff and so they ended up getting cut um uh when i did have it i would sideboard it out almost all the time and and so on the problem with sorcerer spyglass is i kind of want to play spyglass or 
Blast? I don't really want to play both Spy Glass and Blast. I could see, you know, I could definitely see uh, the merit to just to be playing Spy Glass instead of Blast. I'm going to look for something a little bigger than Sean on turn three. Because I'm going, I have turn two Lannery Storm. Uh, it's a real good turn to play, and then by turn three, I'm going to hope to have something better than just Shauna um, with our first two draw steps here. Well, Rootbound Crag was not what we wanted. Oh yeah, Wilderness Reclamation is certainly the card that, uh, you know, like, that made this stuff um, a possibility. Well, I guess Shauna would have been a better card to play, but, you know, just have a 3-3 on the battlefield, I suppose. Certainly wanted something better, though. There we go. Um, I'm playing the Vivian with a treasure so we can uh, crack the treasure for Captain Lannery Storm. We're going to attack for four with these. I've lost so much so already. if I kill the search for Scanted, they could have a Wilderness way. Reclamation next turn, which I would want to kill the Wilderness Reclamation next turn. So I'm, I'm actually just going to tick up. Balance comes. Out of Autumn's a good one. That's actually the card I was thinking of. Yeah, Lannery's been, been just really good for us. Um, it's not good against other uh, creature-based decks. Um, as much. You know, it's a pretty small creature. But it's been awesome with Land War Elf in particular. Draw and fire. So I think my opponent has uh, Frilled Mystic that they wanted Night of Autumn, wanted to counter Night of Autumn with. Or maybe not, maybe they're just Chemisters Insighting. Just wasting this mana to make them use a root snare so they don't get to insight. Um, and now they can't frilled mystic and counter any of the, my other stuff. Which I guess I think will be just an Aurelia. Oh, they can have a sabotage, that's fine. That's where Nexus isn't as bad when you're spending seven mana on it. Hopefully not another Nexus here. Great 
card. May not even be able to ever destroy their wilderness reclamation. Not playing any land, so they just have four spells in hand. It's honestly not that likely that they just have, you know, all these nexuses all the time. Like I've, I've uh, played my fair share of nexus, and it's not, or not like, not like the wilderness rec reclamation nexus, but you know, like that esper taking turns. And it's not like super likely to have, you know, multiple nexuses in the hand like the opponent had, but... From here, now, once you start getting under 30 cards, though, it makes it a lot easier once you start getting under 30. It's like, it's whenever they had, like, you know, over 40 cards a little bit ago, and having all those nexuses. Unfortunately, we have treasures in play, so we have to click OK for everything. Yeah, Wilderness Reclamation. I honestly really don't mind Nexus that much. It's really Wilderness Reclamation that's just pretty ridiculous. This is my least favorite card in standard by Miles. They just had seven mana and didn't use it. Um, so that's kind of saying that they don't have another Nexus. They have since drawn five cards, so they could, and they'll draw a bunch more here, so. Uh, our deck, yeah, our deck is um, Nia Legends. It is, it is certainly a fun deck, but yeah, we just got Nexus Loops twice, two games in a row where it didn't look like the opponent could win. You know, just kind of won from there. The first game they had, um, they had Wilderness Reclamation on turn four, and I played like some other stuff, and I passed back to them, and then they, starting on their turn five, they took the rest of the turns in the game. This one on their turn seven, with no reclamation in play at all, um, they just started. They played a nexus on seven, um, a reclamation, and another nexus on you know on their next turn, and just continued on from there, playing nexuses over and over. So. You know, like, our deck is not going to be those kind of things. Like, when the opponent has those abilities, you know, like, I need them to play the Wilderness Reclamation and pass back to me and me use a Vivian or a Knight of Autumn to kill it. You know, at that point, that game, they just played the Wilderness Reclamation, never, I never had the ability to kill it. They just took the rest of the turns, like, the turn they played Wilderness Reclamation because Reclamation is just zero mana, um, you know, when you have Nexus of Fate. You just, it costs four, but then you untap those four, and so, you, you know, it doesn't cost anything. And then the rest of the game, it, it adds just unbelievable amounts of mana. Um, so, you know, like, that's just tough for our deck to beat. Oh, well. Um, yeah, just not going to really beat that when they have hands like that. Hydroid Crisis is how they win the game. They just play Hydroid Crisis and continue to, to play Nexus of Fates. Um, 
But Nia Legends was a lot of fun again. We had some really sweet Druidic Vows. We had some really sweet uh, Ruinous Blast against Sultai of exiling all their permanents. Um, certainly pretty good. So, yeah, good times playing Nia Legends again. All right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. And... Um, uh, no, I don't think I'd ever play Demystify on the board. I don't think so, no. Um, yeah. So there we go. Um, yep, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.